All right, this is motor number three, which according to my data here, is number three. At 80 volts, it reached 46,300, but 1 1.2 amps, that was on AC. I'm gonna run these off of DC, and I've already checked the, the, uh, the RPMs are about the same, at the same voltage. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run this off the high voltage transformer right there. And, um, see what these things can actually reach. I, I am gonna push it until it, uh, something, something dies, so, uh, yeah. So here I go. Just FYI, this is the amperage coming off the high voltage transformer. And that's just the volts going to the motor. Okay, let me just, uh, let me clear this and, uh, uh, take the motor off the board and all that, and, uh, I see a lot of damage, so, uh, just, uh, just give me a moment. Okay, so, here's the motor. So, from the front, it looks just fine. Still, still spins, spins very freely. Still sounds good. But, um, you get around back and, uh, oh, yeah. There's a lot of damage here. I don't even, I haven't even found where the, uh, this whole piece of the, uh, back bracket is for the bearing. It's just gone. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere down the road, but with all this junk in this room, <laughs> that could be a while. But, uh, the other thing I notice is the, um, this hair. Where the brushes used to rub against, it's completely gone. I mean, not not just the individual copper contacts, but the whole thing is gone. There's just nothing left. And you can see where the wires connected to it; they've all flattened out. Right there. I mean, she didn't burn. It just it just flew apart. So uh, there's there's one of your brush holders. The brush, uh, looks like there's a little bit of brush still in there. What about the other one? Oh, the other one's got a nice, um, the other one's got a nice, uh, dent in the front of it. I don't know how much brush is still in there, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, that was motor number three. I don't know exactly what the RPM was. I know it was over 80,000, which is damn impressive. But, um, yeah, so uh, hit that like button if you liked it, the dislike if you didn't think it blew up cool enough or whatever. Uh, subscribe and um, stay tuned for uh, motor number four. Thanks for watching, everyone.